Good morning, everybody. We are doing another vlog day in the life today. Today is a sourcing day for us. I am here at the office by my lonesome. Nikki took our new person over to the post office. They are dropping off our packages. Already got those packaged for the day. It's only been about 30 minutes of here being in the office and Nikki and I are about ready to leave for sourcing. So, so far so good. It's uh, been a good productive morning so far. I think we had roughly 20-ish packages on eBay and Poshmark, combination of both. So goal for today is to go sourcing, find as many awesome items as we can. We're going to one of our honey holes today, which is probably where most of the thrifting will take place. We'll show you guys some of the things we're picking up and passing on, and we'll take you guys along for the ride. Now I know what you're thinking. Okay, she had a wardrobe change. That means she's about to do a sponsored video. This is another sponsored video. Sponsorships really help the channel to stay afloat by providing extra income. That allows us to take time away from reselling. I heavily vet the sponsorships that I do. I'm getting multiple sponsorship requests pretty much every week and I turn down 90% of them. But I'm really excited with the sponsor of today's video and it's something that I truly believe in. So if you stick with me for a moment, I think that you will enjoy the sponsor of today's video and be able to implement it into your own life. Today's video is sponsored by BetterHelp in honor of Mental Health Awareness Month. May is a month to raise awareness about mental health, fight stigmas, and provide support for anyone struggling with mental health. This year's theme for Mental Health Awareness Month is Together for Mental Health. Now, I don't know about you, but as a reseller, there are times that I really struggle with my mental health. Reselling can be lonely, stressful, and just at times downright confusing. And if work stresses aren't enough, I have my personal life to add into the mix, and I just have a lot going on. It can be hard sometimes to separate the work and the personal life. I always perform best at work when I have somebody to talk to about what is going on with my life and the things that I'm struggling with. But sometimes it's really hard to fit in time for my mental health. One of BetterHelp schools is advocating for access to healthcare. They offer customized online therapy that includes video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist. So you don't even have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. BetterHelp is more affordable than traditional offline therapy. You can apply for financial aid during the signup process and they also accept HSA benefits. There is a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's 20,000 plus therapist network that gives you access to the help that you may not be able to find in your area. You just fill out a questionnaire to help assess your specific needs and then you get matched with a the therapist in under 48 hours. Then you schedule secure video and phone sessions. Plus you can exchange unlimited messages messages and everything that you share is confidential. I don't know about you, but sometimes I will start to get help and then I'll realize that it's not really a good fit for me. The great thing about BetterHelp is that you can request a new therapist at any time with no additional charge. This is Mental Health Awareness Month, so if you or someone you know is struggling with mental health, then please share BetterHelp with them. You can use my exclusive link down below at www.betterhelp.com slash Kaylee. That is betterhelp.com slash Kaylee. That exclusive link will be down in the description box. Thanks again to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. Which ones are we talking about? Sorry, capturing this for the camera. So, fun fact, let me go back. I found this guy at the bins. It was weird, it had funky buttons. Do you see that? Oh, and they were knit and I was like, this feels weird. And so I did some like research to see what it was and came across, see? Just plain, no so size, nothing. So anyways, I was trying to figure out how much they are listed for. So obviously comping them, they're like almost 90-ish to like 60s, 50s. So they're kind of funky, but that wasn't enough for me. So I had to look and see how much they were. And this is the closest one that they had, like as far as style went. 195 euros. If you do not know, that is like 200 and I don't even know. I had to look it up. American dollars. 205 American dollars. So, I was pretty excited about that. Well, I'm stuff is really good for us. Probably going to list this on the higher end just because it's like funky and accept offers because it's odd and I like it. What are you going to list it for? Probably going to list it for 79 99 kind of middle of the run because most of these are like 50 to 90 so we're gonna probably do 79. it's really cool really like art to wear ish yeah all right new bolo new bolo for the don't steal my stuff <laughs> all right so we made it to the first thrift store i don't know what our goal is today i'm gonna say probably 40 to 50 maybe 
We got really lucky at this store last time. We hit that, that gold mine that we shared in the thrift haul. I'm going to cross your fingers. Yeah. We got 69 items. Most of those were from New Racks. So we're going to go in the same thrift store and see if they have New Racks, if we can find stuff. Don't know what the color tab of the week is. We're going to figure it out. I've been keeping track of it, though. I've been keeping I track. Was. I was until I took the last week off to stay back with woman. And <laughs> I'm a holy woman, um, and I have no clue. So, but it's Tuesday. We always I have my Tuesday. wife back. <laughs> We're gonna have the best day. Sorry, I kind of choked you. It's okay. <laughs> We're gonna have the best day ever. So, my goal in this in this first store is going to be twenty, because I think. I need to set myself a goal. We talked in our last live about having incentives and my incentive for today is going to be to get 20 items in the store. And if I do, I'm going to go make Kaylee buy me coffee because I have missed coming to my favorite coffee shop. So we are going to go. I'm really excited, but I have to get 20 first or I don't get my reward. We do have some buy me, buy me a coffee funds that we could use today, but as Nikki said, we're going to make a goal of 20. Is that what you said? That's, that's my goal. What's your goal? I think 20 is good. 20 is good. I think 20 is a pretty decent amount. It, uh, I do need some motivation today. You know, we talked a lot in that live. I think everybody could agree that sometimes you have to trick yourself into working hard. And for us, it's coffee and food. Yeah, I like snacks. to reward myself with snacks or coffee or nerd candies or really just anything unhealthy I don't need, but it's fine. So It just so happens that one of our favorite thrift stores, which is the one we're at now, also is nearby one of our favorite coffee shops. So yeah, I think that's a good incentive and a good motivation. So we'll see if we meet our goal. New color is gray. I think that guy's trying to get out. We're going to hit our 20. having as good of luck with some of the Abercrombie jeans lately. This coffee pair, and they were okay. With the size, they were 31, 33, maybe? This one's 32, 34. They were 31, 34s. These ones comped. I mean, there weren't many. There was like six, but like 10 of them had sold. So nice. it was more than 100%. I'm gonna keep an eye out for new stuff. I'm gonna go to the bathroom and then do shoes real quick. I'm gonna hide it here in the bathroom. So I came across these BOC Born of Concept by Born shoes. They looked kind of that like primitive look. They were nice leather. I like picking up nice leather shoes in this brand if they are unique. But after I checked these over, the other pair had significant wear, so I left those behind. I'm just going through shoes looking for high quality leather. I thought that these boots were really nice. They were made by a brand I don't normally pick up, but they were practically brand new. Ready? Come on. <laughs> it's my favorite thumbnail. <laughs> also, look, it's boring. Let's yeah, see. it's boring. I was gonna get these really nice boots, but I just realized a small flaw. This is missing. I picked these up because I thought they might be a good chunky Y2K style, but after doing comps, they were no good. Also grabbed these boots that again, just high quality leather. These ones I actually did end up getting. They're by the brand Born. This was a really high quality leather bag by the brand B Mikowski, but after doing comps, I couldn't justify picking this up because they had it priced for $12.99 can't do that when it would only sell for probably about 30 to 40. Okay. Nikki, I think it's going to be another one of those days. <laughs> I did a comp on these because they look like high quality comfort sandals, but again, I did not see a good enough comp. 
So we're constantly checking for new racks coming out, but in the meantime, we are looking for the two most recent colors, which in this case were gray and red. So I'm just going through and cherry picking, checking brands for the newer tags. Here I'm doing the bottoms and the shorts. And when I was in the women's short section, I did end up finding a few linen pieces that I picked up. We've got Orvis, we've got some white Lauren, Ralph Lauren shorts, and then also some J. Jill Capri's all were linen and i love picking up women during this time of the year these are a pair of apple bottom jeans again i'm looking for that y2k look after doing some comps these seem to be doing pretty good when they had this kind of back pocket and these were a size 16. later on i found these marked by mark jacobs boyfriend crop jeans these retailed for a lot but do not always resell for a lot i did comps on thread up and real world but no good I got all these, lots of linen and some apple bottom jeans, but no boots with the fur. Apple bottom jeans, jeans, boots with the fur. With the fur. Everybody was looking at her. These look like men's Joe's jeans. I've only got this part left. I was kind of. I was kind of hoping that she would come out with another rack, but I don't know. Let me just show it for myself real quick. I'm going to get this anyways because I think if we cut these little pillies off, they'll be okay. It's like art-ish. Yeah, it's free people. You think we made our 20? I think I'm getting coffee today. <laughs> And I found myself a pair of pants. American well, Eagle? They fit. Yeah. They hopefully. feel nice. They feel new. Uh oh. She's, she's going back. She's going back. We might be able to get one. Where do you want to eat? I'm hungry. You want to take a guess? Oh. Uh, Probably actually after we take out the stuff we got for ourselves, yeah. Yeah, because I got one potentially for me, and you got three for you? Yes. So what did we get? 26. Copy time. So, as you guys saw, we got roughly 25, 26-ish items. So, you know what that means? Copy. Copy time. And lunch, because I'm hungry. <laughs> so, uh, I think we're going to go get Bebe Bop. Is that the consensus? We, we gotta make sure to share what we get for lunch. Everybody <laughs> loves to know what we're eating for lunch. So Some people have tried our favorite things at Panera and like reported back that they've loved them. So if you go to BB Bop, you have to try the yum yum sauce teriyaki sauce combination. I know it sounds really funky, but it's really good. And I can honestly almost just get it with just rice and veggies and be fine. Like most times, I skip like half the chicken because I'm a weirdo. But it's fine. I've been getting steak, veggies, I go between the noodles and the rice, and she then... She some very odd things, like, <laughs> I'm a meat and potato kind of girl. Yeah. And she, she like, and... eats kale and healthy stuff. Not as healthy as I probably should. She's broken. I, I still put yum yum sauce and sriracha on it, so, not too healthy. <laughs> Ignore the water bottles in the back, but we did get our coffee. Yum! Mayan mocha. And we're gonna go get some food now. And go for next one. We'll talk about when we get there. Too <laughs> <laughs> much crap over here in your armpit. Alright, so we are at the next stop. I'm hoping to go to probably one more today. It's been good so far. Um, we're at about 25. Our goal is between 40 and 50 for the day. So hopefully we'll get a few in here. Do you have a goal for this one? We haven't been typically getting a whole lot of this one. I don't know. I'm going to shoot lower on this one just because it hasn't been as consistent as our other one. But I'm going to shoot for, let's say, 12 in here. Let's it's still asking for a lot out of this one, but we're going to see what we can come up with, and 
Also going with a new rack strategy. That's pretty much what we do at every place now. So, Yeah, so we'll see what we come up with. I'm being realistic, but hopeful. All right, let's go. There's yeah, one, two, nice. three out. So we'll see. So the color is red here instead of gray. These are gray. Are they? So those are old rocks, I think. Crap. Here's a bread and butter brand that we sometimes like to pick up. It's a logo by Lori Goldstein. This, however, was a very small size and we only like to pick it up in the larger sizes, so I put that back. Came across this Uniqlo cashmere turtleneck sweater. After doing comps, I decided to get it. Cashmere still does really well for us even in the spring and this one was 100% cashmere. Here's another logo by Lori Goldstein. This one was a larger size and it was tie-dye, so we decided to get it. Next up is a moth by Anthropology women's sweater. This was white, kind of beachy, had some crochet detail back. Here's the tag. And it was made out of linen, so a definite pickup for us. We love picking up linen during this time of the year. Here's another Anthropology piece, although this one we ended up leaving behind. It is Loka. Loka just doesn't typically perform well for me, and this one was kind of out of season, so I left it behind. But if you need to know if something is anthropology or not, you can always check the RN number, which is 66170. Later on, came across this Toad & Co. Women's Organic Cotton Top, and because of the organic cotton, I decided to get this one as well. It should go for about 22 to 25 Another cashmere piece. This one had good comps as well and was in pretty good condition, just needs a little depilling. <laughs> look at it. We need to look him up. It's only $5.99. He's so cute. I love his butt. Oh, does it say the name on there? I don't know. I don't look. Normally they do. I just came and threw it at you. Sorry. I was hoping you wouldn't turn around, but then you did. Say cheese. There are two listed. Five sold. For 14. Oh, hold on. The 14, $14 one was seven and a half. He looks like a big guy. Yes, we were just complaining about how they hadn't sold. <laughs> He's so cute. Even if uh, he doesn't sell, I'm sure one of our kiddos will take it. they had these the last time and I didn't get them because they were too expensive must have been another store $14.99 into probably $50 there are no tags nope you couldn't go in hey, in up. the office <laughs> you need your foot. They're there mints. you go. They're men's. <laughs> your foot is a man's. <laughs> I did just buy uh, men's socks at Marshall's. Not gonna lie, they fit great. These are a size 47. I don't know what that is in women's. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure they are men's, but they're doing pretty good. Watch this. Look what I found. 
Why are you in the freaking home section? I'm just what messing with you. Your... These are these are for me, not for me. <laughs> I took a video knowing what you were gonna do though. <laughs> okay, let me put this down. I freaking called that. Even though it's a medium because it's half off. Thank you, Brent. This one might be worse than thing, I don't know. Okay. What? Oh. Not a, not a, not a <laughs> YouTube worthy. I think we're done. Yeah. I've got a decent amount of stuff. Thumbnail. Yes. Anybody <laughs> wants to fly to Ohio and participate in a Porter's Invention for Kaylee, <laughs> she freaking needs it. This happens all the time. Although she swears. Oh, that one looks a little crap. This is for her. It is for me. She still has a problem. There's still knives at the office that have not been listed. And I will bring it up in every YouTube video until she lists it. They're microwave safe, dishwasher safe, and oven safe. I think this is okay. It's got like some yeah. cracking. Okay. Yeah, it's just where it's been heated. This I has it too. I like, okay, I like natural looking, like medium sized dishes, bowls. You know what I like? I like clean, organized offices that don't have random home stuff stored in them because Kaylee never it. Yeah, the knives I do need to list. <laughs> it's because they have stickers on them that won't come off. So technically we did get 12 items, four of them are mine, so we got eight. So we're at a total for the day of 32, and we're going to go to one more place and see if they have any new racks. So hopefully we'll get about eight items there, but we'll let you guys know. Here we go. here here's these let me get my fault <laughs> i can't pick them up or else i'm everything over i'm so sorry i was we, trying to get we couldn't film much because there were no cards okay let's try again okay and i gotta give you my card we'll see you guys in a minute i should unlock fill the trunk Okay, okay, real quick, we got 18 items. We are rushing to get back by 3.55 for our woman. So no filming because Kaylee is not not very good at directions. So she needs her GPS. But it was a good day. Yeah. Happy. We got a bunch of stuff. Yeah. I'll do a shot of it when we get back. Hi, it's me. So we made it safely back. What you didn't see oh was us gosh. driving through a severe thunderstorm with tornado warnings, but we made it. We're a little late, but we did end up with a little, she's 20 <laughs> minutes. Late. We had to drive kind of slow and we left the last one kind of late, but we did get 52, 52, 52 items, 52 items. So it was a really good sourcing day. We're really happy with what we got. Um, we're probably, we're over a third done for the week and it was the first time we've sourced this week. So Really happy with that. We'll probably hit the bins tomorrow and... <laughs> oh my God, give me that negativity. Like, oh, let's just end it today. I'll take it to the bins tomorrow. I know that stinks, but... <laughs> yeah, the bins suck, but we're gonna go there tomorrow and, and knock out hopefully the rest of our What Kaylee stuff. doesn't know is I'm not feeling great, so I'm not coming to work tomorrow. She's gonna call off tomorrow. <laughs> She's got the Ben's flu. I do! <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, well, we're gonna end it here. We did end up getting a crap ton of stuff. Maybe we'll do a thrift haul on it soon, but we're gonna end it here. Thanks for joining us. Goodbye.